So this is the Infinix Note 12 VIP. What does it mean to have a device that's VIP? Well, it means you're getting this. Now I wanna give a big shout out to Infinix for sponsoring this video as we check out the Note 12 VIP as a gaming smartphone. And by the way, the price point is quite delightful for a device like this. Now, we have a device here that has a 6.7 inch display, 120 Hertz plus 360 Hertz touch sampling. So you know what that means. As gamers, it means better touch sampling, of course, while we're playing our first person shooters and also faster refresh rate for the games we like to play. Now, this is all powered by the MediaTek Helios G96, which should give us some really solid performance. And we also have eight gigs of RAM on this model with 256 gigabytes of storage. So you're going, eight gigs of RAM is nice, but you know, when I'm playing a lot of games and I'm moving from game to game, you know, that might not be enough. And that's true, which is why they have something called Mem Fusion or Memory Fusion, where you can go in and actually expand your memory using the storage uh, in increments of either two, three, or five gigabytes. So you can go up to 13 gigabytes of RAM in terms of uh, using more RAM while you're gaming. So I really like that feature and that's one that is easily accessible in the settings. Let's get into the crux of the matter, right? Let's look at some of the games we like to play. Start off with Call of Duty Mobile. Call of Duty Mobile plays well. We get a solid 60 frames per second. We're running this at high settings on uh, this device here with the Note 12 VIP. What I like about it, it just feels really smooth and really comfortable. Now, the other thing to note is that while you play games like Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG Mobile, which we'll be checking out later. Of course, temperatures are very important. This has nine layer graphene cooling to basically cool down the device so that it doesn't stay super hot while you're going through your gameplay sessions. Now, when we move over to PUBG Mobile, we play this at Smooth Ultra and we're getting a solid 40 frames per second, which is to be expected. And we're getting some really nice gameplay moments here. And again, solid performance all around. So I think what we're seeing from this device is just really impressive gameplay. Now, the one thing I wanna add though is the game center, or you could say the game hub, if you will. This is accessible uh, from your in-game menu by swiping left to right from the left-hand side of the screen. And this gives you some nice, simple, clear options. You can go in, customize your notifications. You can also go ahead and screenshot, screen record, but you can also remap buttons. And you're going, wait, which buttons am I supposed to remap? Your volume rocker. So you can actually remap the volume up or down buttons for specific functions. For me, I like to remap my volume up button for my reload function. So when I'm playing Call of Duty Mobile, I can go ahead and reload my weapon whenever I need to. And I like that, even though this doesn't have a lot of physical buttons as maybe some gaming devices will have, the fact that they were able to look at that and pinpoint that for that is really good. I absolutely love that. And I think that's a great thing to have in a device like this, especially when you're spending time gaming for long periods of time. Now, of course, I wanted to see how we would do with games with high refresh rates. I went ahead and played some Real Racing 3. Now, Real Racing 3 uh, can go support up to 120 frames per second. We're getting about 86 on this, and it was really good, solid gameplay performance all the way. I think a lot of people will like this for what it is. And you're going, okay, look, Thunder E, you've shown us three games, they perform well. Now, how much is this device? Well, it's $299. So think about all the gaming performance you just saw at a price point of $299. And I haven't even talked about the camera. This video really isn't about the camera, but you have a 108 megapixel shooter right here. And of course a 60 mega shooter uh, from prison camera, which means you should be getting some really solid photos at this price point, plus being able to play the games you want to play thoroughly. I think that is one of the best things about this. And of course, some of you are gonna ask, what about Genshin Impact? Yes. I went ahead and played Genshin. I played Genshin at standard settings and I was able to get 29 frames per second, which of course Genshin runs at 30. And that is what this device can definitely do. And it does a fantastic job at it. 
So what do you think of the Note 12 VIP? Do you think this is the device that you like for its price point at 300 bucks with, of course, its expandable RAM, as well as also the fast charging and some of the gaming features we've seen using the MediaTek Helios G96. Now, if you guys have any questions, or any comments, let me know. Or if you want to pick it up, use the links down below. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.